Hey guys, it's Joe here for Cookie Junkie, and I'm bringing you the first video in a three video series on Jute Bucket, a bucket plugin which allows you to play your own music in Minecraft. In this video, I'll be going over how to use every item and all the items that the plugin introduces. In the second video, I'll be going through how to craft all the items, and in the final video, I'll be going through how to set up the music server, how to set up the repo, how to you how to just set up the plugin in general, really. So, if I just give you a quick demonstration of what this allows you to do, just get a pre burnt disc that I've already made and stick it in there, and boom, it starts playing. Now, I'm not using chart stuff because it would infringe copyright. This is licensed under Creative Commons, so it's like perfectly fine for me to use in a video. And if I was you, I'd check out sort of the copyright sort of things. Because I'm not going to hold any responsibility for people breaching copyright by having big servers and putting it on and whatever. I don't, I don't really know where you stand in this, so I'm sorry, but you're just going to have to find it out. So, I'm just going to go over to my item room. And you'll notice there are a lot of like weird new items apart from the chests which contain stuff. So, this is kind of like the wall of shame. The original Minecraft jute box and the crappy discs, which sound a bit rubbish. And then there's these are all music players, apart from this end one, which is just speaker. So they go down in range, in audio range, and descend in order. So this is the wild range. So as you might think, no matter where you are, you can hear it. You can only use this if you're an op by default. You can change it so anyone in your server can use it. However, it's probably best that you keep it that way, just so uh, you know what I mean. This is this plugin is fully permissions compatible, so all the nodes and that can be found on the form page. So yeah, go check that out. There's the max range jukebox, the long range, the mid range, the low range, and the basic jukebox, which, as you may think, as they go up, you can hear them further away. I don't actually know each individual one's block radius, but yeah, you kind of get the idea. And then there's the record player, which is, aside from the world range jukebox, is probably the newest one. This allows you to play music discs like all the others do. However, it can be upgraded simply by putting speakers outside. It'll uh, support up to two speakers. So you can put one here where this one is and one here, or front and back or whatever you want to do. And it also supports different needles. Currently there are only two needles. You need one to work, otherwise it just won't work. If I put the simple needle in, then the base range of this, so what I mean by that is if there's no speakers or there's no special needles, the base range is 10 box. So if I go like 20 box away, I won't be able to hear it. If I go 10, I probably will be able to. If I put a speaker at the side, it increases the range to 30 blocks, which obviously means speakers increase it by 20. If I put a speaker at the other side, I've got a range of 50 blocks. And that was, in the old jute bucket, the furthest you could get. However, they've introduced the new blaze needle, which increases audio range by 30%. So if I stick it in, and we imagine I have two speakers, that means I've got an audio range of 65 blocks, which is pretty good. The I've been in contact with the plugin developer, Chris, and he's told me that he's thinking about, well, I've sort of like read it as well on his forum page, he's thinking about introducing new needles and stuff to do different things. So one might p do the old audio, the old music discs, and... I don't know, one might do special effects or something, I don't really know, but yeah, I think there's going to be more, so that's that's something to look forward to. Now, to burn a disc, you need a disc burner, and that's exactly what this is. It's just pretty much a furnace with little metal things in each corner. And we'll also need a disc machine. Basically, the disc machine has three functions. It can clone discs, which you didn't used to be able to do on the old mod. It can die discs, which you could do and it can label discs which you could you can lay you could label discs on the old mod but it it was a bit ru rubbish to be honest it was a bit yeah 
you couldn't it didn't really work it lagged out a bit here are all the different colored music dishes you can have which is just every die pretty much and then there's just the standard white one which once you craft one you get that you get speaker wire in this mod which doesn't it looks like this and it's only used to craft needles you cannot attach a record player to a speaker it just doesn't work it would I don't know if that would I think that would be quite cool if he didn't use that but you know whatever it's not really a big problem you also have two machine parts which you put in a crafting table together to make the machine but I'll go through the crafting in the next video so I'm just gonna that's about it for all the items oh there is one more there's one more that I've forgotten and I'm gonna have to find on here here it is the disc on a stick yeah it does nothing it doesn't do anything it's great it's just a disc on a stick yes yeah, sir I like this sir. it's pretty pointless but it's awesome it'd be good if you could uh, dye the ends as well I think that'd be pretty cool and then have like different colors or it did something I don't know oh you could if you had a disc in a music player and you wanted it to replay you could like hit it go like that and like hit the thing and then it'd work oh that'd be real good I think they should do that so to get a playable music disc what you're gonna want to do is get a blank obsidian disc some paper and some dye the paper and the dye aren't necessary but you need the paper to label it and the dye obviously dyes it so yeah it's just easier to know what song it is if you've got it labelled go to a disc burner with your music disc in hand that's got to be blank and right click this will then pop up these songs here are all from my music server so I can choose one of these and click burn if I wanted to use something from Dropbox I click URL and then you've got to enter a direct link to music file the music files have to be either an OG an mp3 or a WAV file it cannot be any of us and that's for Dropbox or if you just put it on a music server oops I mean to click that so yeah now there is a new new element to this called the Reaper which I've been given access to from the plugin developer so yeah thank you for that just to show you guys do you know how to use it and stuff so this is the repository basically what you've got to do is you've got to go and sign up for an account and for a monthly fee which isn't a lot it's only ten dollars a month or six pound forty uh, you'll get full access to all the songs on here he is adding songs every day which is really good because the other day when i was on the, the one this many there was like half this many just adding them on every day and it's getting bigger and bigger by doing this you'll get uh, legal music which isn't copyrighted so you know it's definitely fine to use on your server and you know you'd have to worry about that sort of side of it it's really quick downloads he's re-encoded all the files to an odd quality too so there'll be a much quicker download and he has a dedicated server just for this so it's going to be quick and it's going to be simple and it's going to be much easier than setting up your own music server if you don't know how to port forward and stuff so it's probably worthwhile getting you probably, I mean if you wanted a song you could probably request it I know there is a contact bit on the website which you can get and then yeah you just you just have to just have to see uh, all the links will be in the description for everything you're going to need if I pick one of these as well so I'm just going to pick this one press burn then I don't need to label it as it's part of the repo which is pretty cool if I did the same I'll just get another blank music disc with a track on my oops a track on my music server I'll do it with do it that then it just says burned obsidian disk and it'll say burned obsidian disk with a dropbox URL once you've got it burned if you want to label it just right click on um, right click on this disk machine it doesn't matter what you've got in your hand you can just right click it and then you want to put the disc that you want to change or copy or die in this bottom bit here if you want to like label it which is what I'm going to do get some paper and chuck it in the top one then it'll come up with this and all you want to do is just 
type in like whatever you want to call it. So I'm just gonna put video video test or something, I don't know, it's just and then just press label disc. It'll then do some machiney things. I like the sounds of this, it's quite cool. And boom it'll fly out and it's labelled, so now it's video test. If you want to dye it, just again right click, video in the bottom, I mean sorry, disc in the bottom, dye at the top, click start, it does its thing and it'll pop out at me and there it is, it's green. To copy a disc all you need to do is right click on the machine, get the disc you want to copy and put it in the bottom, then put a blank obsidian disc at the top click start, wait for it to do its thing, and boom, get two discs back, both copied. The label stays the same however the die doesn't so you're going to have to like re-dye it if you want them to be the same colour. You've got to think about the files you're using because if you're on a big server and they've got a lot of people then if you're putting mp3s on like I pretty much did when I first got this they're like 8 gig 8 megabyte I almost said gigabyte then that would be a pretty big audio track yeah if you're putting if you're putting audio on that's 8 megabyte then it's going to take ages to download from the from your server if you uh, re-encode it to an OG file of quality 2 like the ones on the Reaper then it's going to be roughly half the file size of the mp3 you can do that with Audacity, which is what I'd use, or Flu is it Flubar 2000? Flubar 2000? Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure to put a link in the description. I don't use that, so I don't know how good it is, but it's been recommended to me as being easy and pretty good to use. But yeah, again, I'd just use Audacity if I did it. So it's worth doing because it's a much quicker download. I'm sure you what I mean. This is this is mine. This is from my music server. So it's downloading and you know, it's a download complete shortly. But obviously it depends on your internet speeds and your upload, your download speed. It just it just depends on quite a few things, so you're just gonna have to it's better off just getting smaller files to be fair. And it's taking quite a while. I should mention the queuing system where there's like there is a queuing system on this, should I say. So what I mean by that is if I took this disc out now, it's still downloading, but if I took it out and put this one in that I haven't played before then this one would have to finish downloading before this one the one I've got in my hand started downloading so it's pretty good like that your spoutcraft stores it as catch cash the cache. cash I can't say it, catch so what that basically what that means is you have a copy in your spoutcraft so whenever you put the disc back in it will play instantaneously and you'd have to worry about it re-downloading again. This is great, but if you log off the server, then you've got to re-download it again. And that's quite annoying if your sound engine crashed or something on Spout, which it sometimes does, but yeah, you can just you can just restart it. In the next update, the the developer is going to be getting rid of that, I think. So it's gonna be absolutely fine and it will it shouldn't crash anymore. But if it does, just turn your spout off and on again and then it'll be fine. There we go, that took quite a while to download. But if you see, if I take it out and put it back in, it works instantly. And the same goes for if I put it in this one. It doesn't matter where I put it. If I put the one from the repo in, which is this one, it says downloading. And it will, it'll still take a bit, but it's it shouldn't take as long because of the files that this one is an mpc how quick was that this is an mp3 file what I assigned to this disc and this is an og and the quality there isn't actually that much difference in quality so it's, it's probably worthwhile doing but it could get be a bit of a pain if you've got loads of songs you want to put on and you've got to convert them all but you know it's probably worthwhile doing if you if you want to do it like that but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it for the first part of the video. I hope this has been helpful. The links will be on the screen for the second part and the third part. And yeah, I hope it's been good. 
please comment below if you've got any questions at all. Inbox me whatever. I'll, I'll try and answer as many as I can within reason, unless I get like beasted by comments. Then, yeah, I'm sorry if I don't answer them for whatever reason. But yeah, 